Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Pat writing in on the email here with uh, the heading of this email is 4K Camera Decision. So he's trying to decide what camera to buy, a 4K capable camera. Hey Matt, I'm looking to purchase my first camera and I want it to have 4K capability. I've looked over a lot of cameras that have 4K, but I'm just not sure what to choose. I was thinking I would wait for the Canon 90D, brackets I don't mind waiting. However, if this camera didn't have 4K capability, I'm thinking about getting one of the following cameras, the Fuji X-T2, the X-T20, Sony a6500, the Lumix G85, that's what I'm filming this with right now, love that camera, or the Canon M50. I was also looking at the Nikon D7500, but heard some bad things about the crop factor on the camera. Keep in mind that I'm from Australia, and cameras here are about $200 more expensive than cameras in the U.S., so all these cameras fit my budget was about $2,000. As I said, this is my first camera, and the main use is going to be travel filmmaking, which is why I want 4K, but still want to be able to take good stills as well. So which of these cameras do you recommend? Keep up the good work. Your videos are really helpful. Thanks from Pat. Well, thanks for your question, Pat. Interesting selection you've got there. Um, I would look at the X-T20. Got it right here. <laughs> Love this camera. Fits your requirements. 24 megapixel, very good performing sensor, 4K, small, light, good price, and amazing lenses from Fuji. Love the little X-T20. The new X-T100 is coming out too. You might want to think about that. I just talked about that in a previous video. Uh, the 90D, uh, I'm almost positive it'll have 4K now. It seems like now that we've got 4K, I think all the APS-C bodies, at least in the higher end ones, like the, like the 90D, I'm, I'm almost positive that will have 4K. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So if you want to wait, you could. But frankly, the M50 is probably the way I would go. Smaller, lighter. They seem to have a special on it right now when I was looking. Anyways, it was like $200 off the last time I looked at it. So maybe you have that special available to you in Australia. But I love it. I love the look of it. It's smaller and lighter. You get almost everything you get out of an ADD. I mean, really, the only thing that bothers me is I lose the, uh, the second command dial. So... It's uh, one of those cameras where you have to toggle switch to go from aperture to shutter speed, and you don't have a dedicated uh, dial for each. So um, if that bothers you, maybe wait for a more advanced M or go with the 90D. But the M50 has a lot going for it, and I would get it with the adapter, and then you got access to all of the other Canon EF and EFS lenses. That's the way um, I would probably lean right now, although there's nothing wrong with an X-T20. Uh, this is a hard decision because I really love the X-T20. I love the M50. Um, Sony, I would rule out based on the lenses. It's very hard to get good quality lenses at a decent price. The, the good quality ones are more expensive than the competition, whereas uh, Canon, Fuji, Nikon have very good mid-grade and lower-grade lenses. The G85, I love it very much, but you are, if you're looking at getting good stills, not that the G85 isn't capable of good stills, but you do have bigger sensors, the APS-C sensors, and a little more resolution. So the, 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 these other cameras win. The M50 wins, the X-T20 wins out, and the 90D would um, over the G85. Uh, that said, the G85 is a fantastic uh, video camera, and uh, I really like it. There's nothing wrong with the GD5. These are all good choices. Get into the store, get them all in your hands, play with them, see if there's a preference you have just for ergonomics and the fit and finish and the feel in your hands. That'll help you decide. Uh, but short of that, I'd be leaning very heavily on the M50 or the X-T20. Probably right now the M50. I'm kind of enamored with it at the moment. Um, and it does have the dual pixel autofocus. However, the X-T20 has very good, it's kind of a, a, a sleeping secret on the X-T20. Um, Fuji has really, really good um, continuous autofocus too. So let me throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do? What, which way would you go here with Pat's decision? The M50, G85, A6500, X-T20, X-T2, or wait for a 90D? Um, let me know in the comments below. What would you guys do and why? Always great to hear from you guys. Get your opinions. Help our viewers make their decision when they've got these purchasing decisions to make here. Thanks for your question, Pat. Thanks for writing in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.